What's going on, people? It is Christopher here, back in the building with episode number five of my top ten moments in the Euros from years gone by. And today I'm going to be talking about one of the legends of French football and the Euros for that matter because he was possibly one of France's greatest ever midfielders. He won the title at Euro 1984. He was a former UEFA president himself and I'm talking about none other than the playmaker himself that was Michel Platini. He made his name as a legend at Euro 84 and back in those days of the Euros there were only five games required in order to have a chance of winning the title and in those five games that Platini played he scored a mighty impressive nine goals which is the record to this very day unless it will be broken at this year's Euros for the most goals in a single tournament and across those five games two yes two he scored two hat-tricks across the tournament and pretty much throughout the tournament itself he scored one goal against Denmark in their first group game he went he ran riot and scored the first of his hat-tricks against Belgium as the French won 5-0 and another hat-trick against Yugoslavia to win the game 3-2, which helped France top the group and move to the semi-finals. However, he scored the crucial late winner against Portugal in extra time to win the game 3-2, and next up, it was the all-important Euro 84 final. However, in that game, it was a very tight affair because Spain had managed to get the better of Denmark on penalties in the semi-finals and managed to somehow keep the West Germans from qualifying for the semi-finals for this year. But in the second half, the inevitable was going to happen because guess who? Platini would only score the first goal of the game to make it 1-0 France. However, his teammate Bruno Bellone did score another goal to make it 2-0 France just before the end of the game to make it 2-0 France to secure the Euro 84 title. But the final was played at the Parc des Princes, which is the home of none other than Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. However, Platini's legend was pretty much all but secure by winning this Euro 84 title. But on that note, guys, that is the end of my top 10 moments from the Euros in years gone by, episode number five. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out episode four from yesterday. Be sure to look after yourselves both physically and mentally. Be sure to ring the bell for notifications to keep you guys up to date whenever I release a new video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel right here. And until next time, guys, peace out.